So when uh, climbing the ice, you want to swing the tools into little divots in the ice, such as these little spots, the little concavities, the ice will fracture less. So swing into there, swing in from the wrist, elbows and shoulder. So through there and it'll smash much less if you swing into the concavities. But if I swing into the little bulges, then it'll fracture up. Mm -hmm. That's actually went in pretty well right there. Mm -hmm. Keeping your feet about shoulder width apart. There, looking for the little divots where to swing into. Boom! Mm -hmm. There, it created a little divot, and now it's holding. Uh-huh. Feet shoulder width apart. Now I'm up. Oh, there's a little hooky-do, so I don't even have to swing there at all. Mm -hmm. I can just put my tool right into the hooking place. Especially when you're the first person up an mm -hmm. ice flow, um, you have to smash off a little bit of ice before you can actually get to the good solid ice. Uh-huh. And what's your sign that it's not a... It's a bad piece of ice that you've swung into, just breaking off. The classic bad ice and really difficult climb, ice to climb is called uh, chandelier ice. It's like a chandelier hanging down. It's all these tinkly diamonds. So there's like half of the ice will be air. So it's really hard to get your uh, ice tool to hold in it. So if it's chandelier ice, you got to smash and smash and smash and dig way down in there. And then you'll eventually get into a place that will hold your ice tool.